Life is so weird. I had my entire life planned out in my head. I knew exactly what I was going to do and how I was going to do it. Then this gun came along and shot it all to pieces and I couldn't be happier. So here we are at the conclusion of season one of Noir and I can't begin to tell you guys how incredible it feels to be a part of something like Noir. We've already started working on season two and our only goal is to be a valuable asset to the firearms community, be a place where people can experience the passion that we have for the Second Amendment, the NRA, the community, and guns. In the meantime, I'll continue to engage with you guys through these Ask Noir videos. I'll use Ask Noir as a way to continue answering your questions, respond to comments, discuss firearm and Second Amendment issues and topics, and just run my mouth like I always do. Let's get to the first question. Chris Candia from Facebook writes, Hey, Mr. Noir, really respect your opinion and love your stuff. Looking for a really light, small concealed weapon for my wife for Christmas. I'm thinking the Ruger 380 LCP or comparable. Any suggestions or help would be awesome. I used to own a Ruger LCP. It was incredibly small and incredibly light, but for some reason, I really didn't care for it too much. I soon got rid of it and bought the car PM9. But if you were dead set on a 380, I would look at the Car CW 380, the Six Hour P238, and the Glock 42. Of the three, I was really impressed with the Glock 42. And the only reason I didn't buy it was because I know Glock is due to come out with the 9mm version. Also, each of the three guns I mentioned, except for the Glock 42, come in a 9mm version, and they're only slightly bigger than their 380 counterparts. In response to my Cabot Guns Instagram video, Emma Garcia PR wrote, six grand, neither an Infinity nor an Ed Brown go for that price, and they are way more beautiful than that black thing. Well, everyone knows that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That is until someone tells you the thing that you find beautiful is ugly as hell. Case in point, I would take a Cabot Gun 1911 over an Ed Brown 1911. Because to my eye, the Ed Brown 1911, though exceptional in the quality department, tend to leave me a little wanting in the looks department. And as far as Infinity goes, well, just go check out my article about the Infinity on NRASharp.com when you get a chance, and that should tell you everything you need to know. With that, I'll leave you guys until we meet again next week on Ask Noir.